Hey guys, it's opening day of 2023 Pennsylvania rifle season. It's about, I think it's about three in the morning or somewhere around there, maybe 3.30 in the morning. Um, up here in the stand, getting things ready, maybe hopefully maybe get to sleep for two hours tonight and then be up at like five o'clock in the morning or whenever before daybreak is and be ready to go. So up here, it's a very frosty morning here in Pennsylvania. I think it's about 20 probably 25 degrees could be colder could be warmer don't really not really sure haven't really checked my phone which i record on was dead because of the cold i think it was at like 50 percent, but the cold knocked it down to like pff, zero so i didn't want to turn on but i got it on for you guys set up a bunk bed here in the stand i got a cot over there so we're gonna see how this goes i'm not in my orange gear just in my warm stuff. Um, I set my cover out and it got frosty outside. So I had to shake it out. Got my pillow and everything. I'll go to bed in my layers and hopefully stay warm. Got a turkey pot down there on low with a window open for vent. So that should keep it warm enough in here. Don't know if we'll get a big buck tomorrow or don't even know if there's any big buck around. Have not been here to see. So I guess we'll see what happens in the morning. I will be hunting with my 243. Hopefully, hopefully we get a buck tomorrow. Hopefully we have some luck. Um, can't believe how fast this year went since last Pennsylvania rifle season. Just weird how, how time flies. But we're hopefully going to have a good first day tomorrow. It's cool at daybreak. You start hearing the boom, boom, boom in the valley and just around every corner. <laughs> Got to be ready for tomorrow. My gun was pretty much lined up. I mean, at 35 yards, I was able to shoot a glass bottle. So I think we're good. Shouldn't be shouldn't be off at 100 yards. Maybe a little, but hopefully we're fine tomorrow and I don't miss if I do see something. Um, but I think that's about it for our little morning talk. Um, I'm going to hopefully get in here, get settled in. And get to sleep one thing i want to mention is i got my solar panel battery in my inverter so i have a little bit of electric electric in here to charge my phone so hopefully that works works well all right guys i will see you guys well it's already morning i will see you guys at daybreak or a little after or if i manage to get a shot at a buck i'll check back in with you guys all right guys see you soon all right guys it is the next day, the second day of Pennsylvania rifle season. The first day, I did not record much because I had other people in the stand, plus nothing really happened. Um, saw some doe, probably about five doe, but other than that, it was kind of a kind of a slow day. And yeah, just nothing was really moving. Didn't really have didn't really have anything that was interesting enough to pick up the camera for, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Here we are at the second day of Pennsylvania rifle season, and I, I've seen three doe today. I do not have a doe permit, so we're going to keep hunting, but we're actually going to move to another location for the evening, so I'm going to see if I have better luck there. The antler restrictions are different there, so this side of the state you got to have, or this area of the state, you got to have three up on three up on one side, not including the brow tine, but the other location, it includes the brow tine, so it makes things easier. You see a ton of buck that have three up but one is the brow tine and it does not count so i guess we're going to get back into this hopefully i have time to pick up the camera if not this video will be a dud but all right guys i'll see you guys in a bit all right guys i am out here at the other location by this massive rock right here and the second day of pennsylvania rifle season i did not see anything when i came to this property this is the same property the mature American chestnuts are on. It's a decent hunting spot, catch a lot of stuff on cameras, but then when it's time to actually hunt, they decide to hide. Probably in the, um, probably in that grove of hemlocks down there. There's like massive hemlocks over that way. I'm sorry if you can barely hear me. It's really, 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 really windy. But down that way, there's a massive grove of hemlocks. You can see one right there. I think that is where the deer are hiding, but it's on the neighbor's property. So there is no way to get 
the deer that are there. So this is this is the same property the American chestnuts are on. There's one of the American chestnuts right there. See, see it in all of its glory. Yep, but like I said, it's kind of a bummer because all the buck, all the doe are hidden over there. So yeah, it is what it is. But I'm just here with my 243 on this massive rock. There are climbing stands like up there, but it's a little too windy to get in one. I'm scared of heights and I don't like blowing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I would rather be on the ground and I'm probably being a little loud, but it's so windy. I don't think a deer would hear me. Got my gloves and yeah, well, this one's my glove and this one was my cousin's glove, but it works. It makes a set. So yeah. But yeah, I have seen, I haven't seen a single deer on this property. We know they're there because we've caught them on the cameras, but they're not coming out, mostly because it's cold like this. Cold, windy, nasty, snowing. If I was a deer, I wouldn't come out either. And I know this looks kind of dumb, but my ears get a little cold. So put this on like that and keep it legal. But at the same time, having the beanie on my head. I should probably just get an orange beanie, but you know, I do things the hard way. But yeah, I have not seen anything here. I know they're here, but <laughs> are they here? I think they're over there, like I said. But the climbing stand, I might go back in the climbing stand for dark because I think that's the best chance of seeing something. Deer primarily move in my, um, in the times I've seen them move, they primarily move at dawn and dusk. So, yeah. Over there, I walked under these, I was trying to, I was just trying to walk up there to see if there's anything under there earlier. And there is, there is fresh deer poop. There's also some fresh buck rubs. So that means they've been sneaking around the hillside and avoiding the stand back there. So, they're here, but they're going in those pot, they're going in those hemlocks over there to, you know, bed down and stay stay hidden from the weather and stay hidden from hunters which makes sense so there's no way to get them so they get to live till next year yeah my hands are cold so this morning i went up to the stand to the climbing stand i'm scared of heights and this is my first time i think my first time getting in one i sat down and i was reminded how much i don't like heights so and when the tree when the tree started like rocking back and forth with the wind the ladder stand started moving back and forth with the wind that's not very fun so i was up there about an hour and then i got down <laughs> good a good view but at the same time it's a little too windy and cold to be up there but i think for the last two hours of daylight tonight i'm gonna be up there but i'm sorry this video has not been very very interesting because there's been nothing really to record. So yeah, our property, the one that the homestead is on, it has the deer more active there. You're more likely to see one. Like I could have filled a doe tag within like the first couple minutes of daylight, but I don't hunt doe because I don't see it as a challenge. It's a little too easy. And that property may be seeing less like deer that doe that live there. You're not supposed to shoot the deer that live on your property. Like, I know it's kind of hard to tell, but you're supposed to shoot the ones that... You're supposed to shoot the ones that travel through. You're not supposed to shoot the ones that live on your property. Because you can tell the, the group of deer that live on your property and the ones that don't. And when you shoot the ones that live on your property, they're gone. So, I think that's what we did, and that's why we're not seeing as many. We've seen some small ones, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Just some small ones. So, maybe give that property a break next year from doe hunting. I guess, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, buck are incredibly smart, way smarter than doe. I think a lot of the ones around here are only coming out at night. They're, they're getting smart, so they're hiding in those hemlocks down there during the day, and then at night they're coming out. That's my theory. So, I'm just gonna, I may walk around a little bit. Someone just banged something over there. I may walk around a little bit may sit here not really sure yet it's a little windy so i doubt i'm gonna see anything right now because 
deer don't move at this time of day. Two in the two in the middle of the day, they're not usually moving. They usually start moving at close to dark and in morning time, like I said. So sorry this hasn't been an interesting video, but at the same time, it is what it is. And I will check back with you guys if there is something interesting. There probably won't be, and this video is gonna be a bust. But if there is something interesting. I'll check back with you guys. All right, guys. I'll see you in a few. Hey, guys. It's the last day of Pennsylvania rifle season. The rest of this video, I literally had, like, no footage of anything. So, today, hopefully, we get a little bit more footage. And I don't really expect to get anything. I'm just enjoying being out here in the Allegheny National Forest. Such a very... Nice feeling just being out in the woods, and that's really the main goal of today is just, or the next few hours is to relax. And then I go to work, so. But, as of now, just enjoying, enjoying the woods, the trees, just the scenery. So, the beginning of this video, the first couple days of Pennsylvania rifle season, I didn't get, like, much footage, and I didn't really, I haven't hunted much after that, so... This is the last chance to get some actual footage, so it is what it is. Um, I don't expect to get anything today. Really, I'm just hanging out in the woods, admiring the beauty of everything. Um, not exactly sure when to pick the camera up and record or not. I need to shave. I'm starting to look a little homeless but oh well I'm a wild man I'm being way too loud for hunting but eh. I wanted to wear a beanie but I also gotta wear this so you know it's a compromise I need to just get an orange beanie but that day will come all right guys I'm just gonna sit here and I'll pick the camera up if something interesting happens. First, I'm going to show you guys the, the scenery. So here's my view. And over here, there's a massive giant rock that I'm sitting on. Really, really nice view. Nice blue sky day. Even if I don't see anything, it's still just nice to be out here in the woods. All these pine trees are like dying. I think these are the kind of pine that have like a short lifespan, like 30, 40 years or something, and they're all reaching it or something like that. It's because they're, because they're all dying. There's a ton of red squirrel in here that I hunted before. Problem is when they die, when the pine trees die, I don't know what they're gonna eat because this part of the Allegheny National Forest, there is no oak trees, like, at all. Alright guys, the sun is finally, like, up. And I'm getting kind of bored of this spot. So, I think I'm gonna move. Um, I don't know if I should walk that way. I don't want to get lost. I'll probably follow the actual trail because I got lost in here one time. I went up over a bank and I ended up being thousands of, like thousands of feet from where I thought I was. So I gotta be careful. Good thing is you can sneak up on the deer pretty easily because the um, leaves are wet right now. So what I'm gonna do is walk back behind over back to that trail and then walk back. Um, I don't feel like sitting in one spot much longer good thing is I haven't seen a single hunter that was in my area so that's good if I walk back there there might be someone but oh well I'll just find a different spot then so I think I'm gonna get going and start walking I don't want to slide down this but I probably I'm trying to decide if I should go there or go the other way I really don't want to get lost so I'm gonna go back up to the trail and walk down I'll catch you guys when I find my new spot 
I bought stuff with me, so I gotta carry it all back over, so. All right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. I'm using a 243. I got a really good powered scope on it. Um, got a hot seat right here. This thing is working really well, like really, really well. This in my pocket is kind of annoying because like it's in my pocket and I don't have much space, but I like my green tea. I'll probably squish this can and put it in my pocket when I leave. So no littering. Right there is the road, or up there is the road. So I'll walk back that way and go back that way. And hopefully we see something. I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. Guys, I went to come down my rock to move locations. And look what I found. There's a beaver out here somewhere. That's cool. That looks like freshly chewed too. Yeah, there's this one chewed off right here. Then you go over here. This one's chewed off. Um, there's another one chewed off. There's a bunch chewed off back there. I just, I found that really interesting, so I thought I would show you guys. That has to be a beaver. That's cool. Since there's that water down over there. When you come up this hill right here. I was thinking maybe a hunter cut some trees off. And that's why they're cut off. But then I looked around and I saw a bunch that were like that. Then I realized it was a beaver. So there must be a beaver dam in there somewhere. That's cool. All right, guys. I'm going to move locations. I may or may not record while I'm walking. Probably not. But if something happens, I'll get back to you guys. My time is running short in here. I'm not going to have time to get anything. But I just want to say, there is fresh deer prints through here so I chased a deer out on my way in here I somewhere in these pines I'm pretty sure I can hear the birds chirping when the birds chirp at you watch the way the birds fly because if the birds fly that way that means the deer is coming that way there's looks like a deer trail going down that hill over there but yeah there's definitely a deer in here I didn't look closely at the print but it was a decent sized deer that's back in here but these pines are where the deer like to bed down so definitely in here I don't have much more time to hunt so this Pennsylvania rifle season is kind of short but you know I just love being out in the woods for the time I had I'm gonna turn around soon before I get lost so there's birds behind me chirping so there could be a deer coming my way I don't have a truck so I don't know how I'd get it back home anyway but There's probably a big buck in here somewhere. I'm gonna walk a little bit over, over that way and see if I see anything. Maybe sit down there for a little bit and then turn around and get ready to head out. But the little bit of time I did get this hunting season, it was fun. I just love being out in the woods more than anything, more than getting a deer. Because if you get a, let's say you get a big buck, you gotta drag the buck you gotta cut the buck. And you gotta cut the buck up for meat. Unless you have money to process it. And that's expensive, so it's just easier to do it yourself. And it takes, it's very time consuming, so. It's a give and take kind of thing. You get the reward of getting a big buck, but at the same time, you get the headache of cleaning it afterwards. <laughs> when it comes to the time you lose doing it yourself and as well as paying for the vacuum seal bags I think it's probably cheaper to have one cut up for you and bagged it's very relaxing listening to that water
I'm not talking much because just, just listening to that water is awesome. This is a really good spot. I think next year, I'm gonna come back in this area. Maybe explore down that way more. I'm trying not to get lost, so I'm gonna stay where I am now. But I'll walk around a little bit. I got my hot seat. Just gonna sit on it for a while until it's time to leave. It's very like, very solemn, just like, I think I'm using the right word. Just sitting out here and relaxing on my hot seat, looking at the river and the hemlock trees. I'm not really hunting guys. I'm just more um, observing nature right now. I love hemlock trees. Like that's my favorite type of like, you know, like pine variety of tree. Too bad you have another invasive insect, the woolly adelgid, which is wiping them out. I'm trying to figure out a thumbnail for this video. I don't think anyone's gonna watch this, but I don't care. Documenting my journey. I don't wield my gun again since I set it on the ground. I feel kind of bad because like my YouTube channel, I've made like no videos and put like, haven't put been able to put effort into it. And it kind of stinks because on the YouTube channel, I would have loved to be on this YouTube channel. I would like to be way further ahead than I am, but I just haven't really been able to. So it kind of, it kind of stinks <laughs> because I would love to be making more videos like this, like hunting videos, but it just hasn't happened and it really stinks. I don't know if anyone's watching this or not hearing me ramble, but it is what it is. I love moments like this where I can sit outside sit by side of water that's moving. This is like the most relaxing thing ever. I think we need to stop pushing like antidepressants and stuff and start pushing more like, this may be controversial, but more outdoor therapy. I'm not saying I'm totally against medicines and stuff, but what I'm saying is instead of throwing a pill at everything, for some things, non-like like mental stuff. Just therapies like this. Just relaxing out in the woods. And many studies have also shown that like being in the woods helps you mentally. So I think this is the best therapy there could be. It's calming. It's relaxing. Everything like that. So I think we should start pushing more. More therapies of just being out in the woods in general. Some people may think I sound crazy, but there's nothing more calming or more relaxing than this. There's just not. It's just so, so peaceful. I'm rambling again. At this point, I'm not hunting. I'm just thinking, relaxing, enjoying nature. I'm being too loud to hunt. Like, just enjoy the outdoors. This earth is here. 
the birds are chirping. There might be a deer coming my way. Um, this earth is here to admire the nature. No, we don't want to love the nature. We don't want to love the creation more than the creator, but it's here for us to enjoy. And a lot of people leave that for granted. There's definitely a deer over there or a squirrel or something. Like I said, when the birds, when the birds move in a direction and they're chirping, it's these like Tweety birds. They're like tattled. They're telling you that there's something coming towards you. Almost every time I've heard that, a deer runs out. So you got to watch for the birds. The birds are definitely, definitely a telltale sign that there is big game coming your way. They even do it to squirrel though, so you just gotta watch out, but. Maybe a deer will come my way, I don't know. The birds are like behind me now, so. If I did, okay, so let's say in theory, I shot a buck up there. I would have to drag that buck through this water and up a hill. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't feel like doing that. So, if I don't get anything, I'm fine because I would have to drag it from blah, 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 and then drag it the whole way back. That would be horrible, especially if the thing's big. So, as of right now, I'm happy just to be out here in the woods. Hopefully I didn't get lost and hopefully I can get my way back. I have a compass on me and I know what direction I'm going, so hopefully we're good. The biggest reason I wanted to get a buck was because um, I could get a lot of, I could get a lot of views off having a big buck. So, that's why I wanted to get a big buck. I could clickbait that and everything and get tons of views off it but no bucks okay with me I'm just happy to be out here maybe next year we'll get a buck but as of now just enjoying the forest I hear something now so there's something behind me it could be other hunters. I probably should shut up. I'm going to shut up and get back to hunting, I guess. All right, guys. I have not seen anything. I'm going to start walking back. Um, this water has a smell to it. It's not a bad smell. It's kind of interesting. So, this sullen spot I'm going to leave and head back that way and hope I go back the right way and not get lost. I'm going to go back and sit back on my rock until my ride arrives. I wasn't paying attention a minute ago and I almost stepped off there. <laughs> I was like moving and I put my foot down and I was like, oh, there's a cliff right there. <laughs> I love it out here. Pennsylvania is one of the most... I hate the politics of the state, but I love... I love the scenery of the state. Pennsylvania, to me, is like the... The most attractive state. The most beautiful state. West Virginia is nice, but I don't really like mountains. I like in between. I like hills. Like big, giant hills, but not mountains, if that makes sense. I like in between. I don't like... I don't like mountains and I don't like flat. So Pennsylvania is like perfect. Then some parts of Virginia look really nice. But overall, Pennsylvania to me is home. And it's just overall a really nice state when it comes to the scenery. All right, I'm going to get my hot pad and my phone bag. And I'm going to get going out that way. If I see anything, I'll pick the phone back up and start recording again. All right, guys, I'm back to my spot. Um, about to leave this place, but definitely next year, 
next year I would love to I would love to hunt here next year maybe maybe the first day maybe not the first day I don't know yet I'm gonna put the trail cameras up at our property and if I don't catch any buck on them I'm not gonna hunt there but if I do catch buck on there I'll hunt there but I think that place needs a play way to rest for a little while and I'm gonna start putting some like salt licks and stuff in there so get them used to the area and then as you know take them out before before season like I think it's like a month over a month you have to have them out before deer season look at that massive rock right there so yeah I'll probably maybe hunt here I'll maybe get a doe permit next year but I'll get it for either this area or the other location I hunt that's near the American chestnut trees I don't know We'll see. We got a lot of time. But I'm glad I got to have a morning of hunting, even though didn't get anything. But it's good because I got some time to relax. I just love being out here. I hope someone watches this video. But if no one does, it's all right. I don't know if I said this already or not, but apparently when I heard those birds chirping, a deer walked around me. So where I was sitting, it went around because these there was like mud spots where the deer's hoofs um, embedded in. And I didn't see those like that when I went over there. So apparently a deer went right around me. <laughs> so there, there's deer in here. It's just, you gotta be smarter than the deer. <laughs>